I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat 6, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the Cat Widow? The Cat Widow? No? can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human f So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Look, she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay, I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Let's go. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Thank you. 
I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Do you want to go in first? Come on in. The place seems empty. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. Why do I always end up in places like this? That damn hole. 
That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Remember the hole, Susan. Damn, the door handle just came off in my hand. How am I going to get out of here now? Mitzi? Mitzi, are you there? Shit. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Jesus. What the? I've got to get out of here. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here! You have to ruin everything. What have you done, you stupid, evil bitch? Who are you? I'm sorry, the door was open. I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? Sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. I don't want any trouble. Just let me go. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, I've got to go now, alright? I'll slowly walk out of here and you'll never see me again. Calm down. I'll go now and we'll forget all about this. There's nowhere to go. It's all wrong. No matter what I do. Damn it! Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Please, don't get angry. I don't have any keys. 
just sit down and take a deep breath while I make my way out, all right? Come in, come in. There's no need to be afraid, I, I don't buy. Come in already, I might need your help with something. My hell. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? Sorry. I must have gotten the wrong idea. It happens to me sometimes. I've been known to be a bit intimidating, I guess. But I'm not a violent person. Okay, good to know. I mean, I will use violence if I'm pushed against the wall. Do you know what I mean? All too well, Mr. Davis. All too well. This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know, it's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. I'm sorry, I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now, maybe long. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry and she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes what I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out. I promise. Just go in there and tell her. Tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Goodbye, Joe.
Hello? Misery? I is that what you said? No. 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 No! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind! Do it! Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! I... You leave me no choice. Go ahead. Wrap it round her neck and pull it tight. Yes. There's no other way. Stop it! What the hell's gotten into you, Mrs. A? I... I don't know. Did you just try to strangle me? No. Oh, God, no. I would never do that, Mitzi. I guess I... I must have panicked. I thought you were someone else. Look, I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. At least you found the laptop cable. That's good news because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So? Did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great! Now don't tell me. Was it... Carrot? Yes. A carrot? That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yay, it works every time! Okay, okay. Don't get too big-headed now. Sure, but... I am the greatest! <laughs> Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. 
In fact, I thought about celery. I wasn't going to say, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. Coming! Right, step back. I'll handle this. Oh, hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth! Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh! Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this, so she offered to come along. She is my favourite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes. Well, you'll... Okay, I'll come. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah?